What's up my makeup lovers? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today is Foundation Friday. <sighs> okay, I lied. It's Saturday. But I could not wait until next Friday to review these products for you guys. Guess what makeup I have on my face right now. If you read the title of the video, you probably know. I got my hands on Rihanna's Fenty Beauty makeup line. It literally launched last night. I was on the website. I ordered it at midnight. Soon as I hit purchase, I realized it was sold at Sephora and I could have just got it today. So I literally double purchased and got my goodies right now. Although I would love to get the entire Fenty Beauty line and review for you guys, I'm still balling on a budget, so I got what I could. So I got the Pro Filter Foundation. This is a soft matte finish. I also got the Pro Filter Primer, which is supposed to make your skin look flawless, poreless, and make your makeup last longer. And I got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. Woo! Yeah, I know you see it. Now I will admit, when I heard Rihanna was releasing a line, I was kind of nervous as to how much it would be. I mean, it's Rihanna. She could charge 50 to $80 for a foundation and we'd all still buy it. But she didn't do that. These items only cost around $30. The foundation is $34, the highlighter is $34, and the primer is $32. So although it's still a high-end line sold at Sephora, she still kept the prices on the lower spectrum, which I love and respect. Brianna definitely wanted this line to be all inclusive, meaning the price is gonna be affordable enough for majority. She has 40, yes, hear me out, 40 different colors to choose from. Like what? Her very first makeup line and you already have more shade ranges than companies that have been doing this forever? Chick better take my money. Rihanna is killing the game. 40 different shade ranges ranging from like paper white to like the deepest, darkest brown. There's a color for everybody on either side of the spectrum and everybody in between. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied the foundation, the primer, and this highlight. Alrighty, I already have on my moisturizer, so now it's time to use the Pro Filter Primer. It says Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. It's 1.08 fluid ounces, so you actually get a little bit more than most primers with that 0.8. I see you, Riri. Instant Retouch Primer, and it's supposed to smooth, pore diffusing finish, extend makeup wear, you know, everything a primer is supposed to do. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. Ooh, this packaging is so pretty. I just wanna have them all on display. So it's this really pretty sleek glass bottle, high end. Let's take off the top. It seems to have a little pump, which I do like. So let's go ahead and pump a little bit. It's a nice creamy finish. Ooh, it goes on very smooth. It actually feels very hydrating as well. Now, if you are new to my channel, let me warn you, I have very oily skin. So I will be testing how this foundation does on oily skin. But even if you have dry skin, I could feel that this is very moisturizing. Now let's go ahead and apply the foundation. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. It's supposed to be very buildable, going from a medium to full coverage. So it tells you to shake it up and I'm using the color 370. Rihanna actually came out with her very own makeup sponge as well. I didn't splurge on that one today, but um, you know, maybe I'll try it in the near future. So I'm gonna do a little pump right onto the Beauty Blender. It's a very liquidy foundation. It doesn't seem very thick. It's probably gonna be very lightweight, but let's try it. Ooh, I already see that by using this Beauty Blender, I'm actually getting more coverage. And that makes me feel good. Okay, so there is my first look at a full face of foundation with the primer. It went on very easily. A little goes a long way. I would say that it is buildable. You can get the nice sheer natural look, or you can add more to get a little bit more full coverage like I personally like. 
Uh, it's not thick at all. I definitely would not call it a full coverage foundation, but you can kind of get there if you keep applying it. So right now I think I'm happy with this current finish. I do see the soft matte, it's not extremely matte, it's not extremely drying, but it's also not dewy either. So it's that perfect little medium between dewy and matte. So at this point I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. Now we're talking. Now that I have on the primer and the foundation, it's time for the fun part, which is the highlighter. These are Rihanna's freestyle highlighters. They're called Kilowatt, or as I would say, Kilowatt. But the one I decided to go with includes two different colors, and it has Mean Money and Hustla Baby. So besides this little duo, there's three other duos to choose from. A very popular one that everyone's talking about, it's called Trophy Wife. It's an extreme gold, like a yellow gold, like fall the yellow brick road gold, but it was a little much for me. So I'm gonna grab, let's get this little brush right here. Rihanna does have a special brush for her highlights. I did not get the brush, but if you wanna stay in the Rihanna family, definitely pick one up for yourself. And I'm gonna use Hustla Baby. Here we go. The moment of truth. Tap a little on there. Woo! Damn, homie. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad I got the highlighter. I almost didn't do it, but I went on Instagram Live and you guys told me to. Ooh! That is pretty. All right, other side, other side, other side. Yes. Wow. I even snuck a little bit of this highlighter on my eyelids right here, just in the corners. So I got a little bit of Hustla Baby on the eyes, Hustla Baby on the cheeks, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin. Let's just put it everywhere. I'm feeling the highlight. Okay, okay, you guys were right. I'm glad I got it. Now, although I love everything thus far, my main test, as some of you may know from my Foundation Fridays, is that I do like to wear the foundation all day, and then I report back to you guys so you could see how the foundation held up. It is currently 2 p.m. I'm gonna come back at the end of the day, hopefully maybe around eight hours later, so you could see if this foundation does well on oily skin. This foundation does not claim a certain number of hours that it's supposed to last, the primer is claiming to make it last longer, but let's see how long. So I will be back shortly and we'll see how well the Fenty Beauty items hold up. Okay, it is now time for the moment of truth. It is now 10.30 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for eight and a half hours. Here I am. I'm pretty shiny. Oh, bother. My highlight is kind of like joined forces with all this oil over here, just making like an entire shiny face. Hmm. But here's what I did notice. Because I do have very oily skin, this is not too out of the ordinary for me, I noticed that the makeup is still intact. Like it didn't wear off, which is a good thing but it did kind of rise up with the oil. And I'm extremely oily in the areas that I usually get oily, which is right around here, a little bit on my forehead. But I'm wondering if it'll get better after I blot. So just like I do in every Foundation Friday video, I always blot with oil absorbing sheets. These are by Clean and Clear. Rihanna actually did make her own blotting sheets and she made some blotting powder that I have not tried. So I'd be interested to try to get my hands on that as well and see if that helps with the oil control if I used her actual blotting powder. If you have tried it or plan on trying it, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know because that could be a game changer. But for now, I'm gonna use my little drugstore blotting sheets. So it's gonna press on here. Ooh, yes. Ooh, that is a lot. So now that I have blotted my face, this is how much oil came off, which is a lot of oil, but now that I blotted, I'm happy with it again. My highlight is still there. I did not touch it up at all, so that's really nice to see. So now you have seen the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation on extremely oily skin. This is gonna be the most, 
you know, intense way to test it. But if you have dry or normal skin, it's probably going to be perfect for you. If you do have oily skin, be a little cautious. Know that you will have to blot after a couple hours or maybe even try her blotting sheets or blotting powder that she also launched with her line. I personally am going to continue to use both the primer and the foundation. Tomorrow I wanna to use the foundation with a different primer and see how it does. And then I'm gonna try the primer with a different foundation. That way I can see how these two do on their own. So if you want to see that, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll just do a little quick review in my stories. I give you guys all the exclusive behind the scenes on Snapchat and Instagram. So go ahead and follow me right now so we could be besties. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews every Friday, usually, and curly hair videos on Sunday. So come back tomorrow for another video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.